This tutorial is on using the print and cut feature with the Silhouette die cutting machine. I'm opening up a new document in the Silhouette Craft Robo software. I'm choosing letter. That's very important when you're doing print and cut and you also need to click the use registration marks before clicking OK and opening up your new document. Then you can see there along the bottom and up in that top left hand corner they're blocked out. You don't want to put any of your images over that area. Um, it needs to be free of any um, printed design so that the silhouette can read the registration marks. I'm opening up this flower design. This is a new print and cut design from Cosmo Cricut. They have both print and cut designs and regular die cut designs. I'm just showing how I did the print and cut designs for the layout here. Then I'm going to go back into my library and type sugar. It brings up another design. This is also Cosmo Cricut. All of the designs so far here are Cosmo Cricut. And I right clicked on it. I'm going to change the size a little bit. I made this very small. You can see that you can make it as small or as big as you want to. That's the great thing about it. And I decided that wasn't the right size. I believe I did this at about one and a half inches in height for my layout. It sits on the, on the shelf above the journaling and the photo strip. I'm going to open my library again and I'm going to choose Spice and I'll click the other one that goes with it, also Cosmo Cricut print and cut design and I think it's about three quarters of an inch in height if I'm not mis or maybe an inch an inch in height just whatever looks good to your eye and what I like is with these print and cut designs you can make coordinating die cuts that fit your layout perfectly they can be pretty much any whatever will fit on this letter size paper I'm opening up another print and cut design here. This one is not um, Cosmo Cricut. This one is, I believe, from Lonnie Stevens. She does these really great print and cut tabs. And I'm just resizing them a little bit here. I'm not really being exact, just kind of eyeballing it. Um, you can see it's going to print more than just the one I used on my layout, but that's okay. I I like to completely fill my page. Since I'm using photo paper, I don't really want to waste any of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up a few more print and cut designs that I think I might use pretty soon. This is a Cosmo Cricut design. It says My Travels. Um, then I'm also going to open up this, um, an airplane, I think. Or no, I guess I'm going to open up this uh, little quote first. Again, these are all Cosmo, the rest of these are all Cosmo Cricut designs. And I'm just going to change the size till it fits on my page. But like I was saying before, I, I have already chosen all of the designs that I actually used on, on the layout, but I always feel like it's wasteful if I don't go ahead and fill out the whole page with print and cut designs. I just keep them all in a little file or basket in my, in my craft room and then just grab them whenever I need them. So it's kind of handy that way and I don't feel like I'm wasting any of the photo paper. And I already have some great die cuts ready to go the next time I sit down to scrapbook. So I'm just going to continue filling in. I think I have room for about one more design. I'm going to add this cute little airplane and have that all resized. And that looks pretty good. And now that I have all of those on my sheet, I'm just going to load some... I use photo paper. I think you can use some other... Um, color safe types of, of paper, but I prefer to use photo paper because I have it on hand. 
and then I'm just going to go up there in the toolbar and the little icon that looks like a printer that I just pushed there, you'll click that and make sure your printer settings are correct and click OK. And that will send the design just like this to your printer. So you'll wait for that to print a little bit and then you will load your um, printed sheet on the silhouette mat and you'll line it up and it, it's pretty specific and really easy to do it'll sh I'll show you here in a second and then you'll click cut like normal I use the index 90 setting just like I would for a thicker cardstock I also run it through twice that usually gives me a cleaner cut since the photo paper is quite a bit thicker than regular paper and whatnot. So then I just follow the, you know, the steps for the regular steps for cutting. Okay, here is what it looks like. It says feed this side first. You can see it, it printed that little black dot and the little uh, photo corners there on three of the corners. You line it up exactly on your mat. I'm going to load that right into my silhouette. And then when you click cut, it'll, it will initially check for registration marks. If that registration marks box is not clicked, you can see search registration mark, make sure it's clicked because it needs to search for that so that when you cut, when the silhouette cuts, it will cut around the images exactly. So it's just searching, or it's, a, it's yeah, searching the registration marks. And now I'll go back to my computer and click OK and it will cut and then it just starts cutting and since there are quite a few designs and some of them are they're not really intricate but like the title along the bottom it will go around each letter so it's going to take a few minutes I'll cut a little bit of that out because no one wants to sit and watch that especially because I run it through twice and it's finishing up here. See it working? And then you simply just pop the designs out of your paper like you would a normal die cut and use them on your project. Thanks for watching.